Hi everybody, this is Nick Boliteri. I want to talk about a young boy who came to the IMG Academy when he was only 12 years old. And his parents entrusted him to us to develop him not only as a tennis player, but as a person with an outstanding education. Not leaders, not champions, not us. We are students. We are athletes. We are leaders. We are IMG. Hi. About five years ago, I stumbled upon a commercial for an academy that showcased a few of the top ranked juniors in the world and upbringings of some of the greatest tennis players of all time. This academy was not your ordinary high school. Imagine pro athlete facilities at the disposal of teenagers. Teenagers from across the world. Tokyo, South Africa, Brazil, New Jersey, you name it. Each with enough bravery to leave their families, friends, even their comfortable bed from home to train as if they too were competing in the pro leagues. Now embarking on a new chapter in their lives. Having to make more decisions for themselves and the future they're creating. This playground for athletes was a place where strangers turn into family. Yeah. <laughs> Freshman year. Freshman year was a time where everything and everyone was practically new. This was my first time having to wake up at 5.30 a.m. consistently just so I would have enough time to eat breakfast and stretch before 7 a.m. practice. Practice was three hours long every day and followed up with an hour of either conditioning or reflex exercises. Now, remember, this is Florida. There's a reason it's called the Sunshine State. Blazing heat was year round, and when it said 80 degrees, it really felt like 100. As the year progressed, practice felt a little easier day after day, and the feeling of being complete strangers with someone faded away slowly as new relationships formed. My advice for incoming freshmen to high school would be to get out there as much as possible, because chances are pretty high that a lot of freshmen in need of a new friend. Okay, we're going to work a little bit with Luke, who I've been working with for a couple of years with his son. And his strokes are absolutely right on target. Watch how low he gets. Sophomore year was a time where I challenged myself personally to kick it up a notch in my tennis and academics. I honestly felt sophomore year was my easiest year in terms of academics. For winter break, I also traveled to the Philippines with my family. And the views out there was so nice. I just love the tropical vibes I got out there. At the end of every year, there's a banquet for every sport at IMG. Last year, at the tennis banquet, I was actually nominated for the Student Athlete of the Year award, but lost it to someone who deserved it way more than I did. So, this year, I honestly felt in my soul that I was much more capable than what I gave the year before. So I trained harder, studied harder, and tried to do the right thing as much as I could. I already visualized myself winning the Student Athlete of the Year award at the beginning of the year. So when the time came when they presented the Student Athlete of the Year award for my sophomore year, guess who won? That year, I won the Student Athlete of the Year award. It was honestly one of the best feelings in the world to have achieved this feat. At the beginning of the year, I already visualized myself winning this award, and nine months later, it happened. Visualization is one of the strongest tools one can possess. Qualifying and I'm in main draw. I will play double with you next year. Junior year. 
junior year was a time where I really bonded with some amazing people. And what started out as strangers, forced to play tennis together, or sharing a classroom with, turned into a friends that today I can call family. I learned this year the importance of connections and how relationships with new people will change your life in sometimes the best ways. This had to be one of my best years, my favorite years, in any school I've been at. Senior year, the year of humble ends and a time where people say goodbye to old friendships. SATs, ACTs, college acceptance letters, graduation practice, senior pranks, the past four years of high school all leading up to this. It's really a time where people come together to write their last chapter for their high school experience. <laughs>
Luke Biarta Mendoza. IMG will forever be a place where kids get older together, but most importantly grow together. That's what builds the strongest relationships, is the hardships people encounter that truly show who has your back. Ask anyone who graduated from IMG, it's not all the courts, the free Gatorade protein shakes, or cafeteria food that everyone complains about. It's the people they made the strongest memories with and who are in the stories they can't wait to tell others. Five years later, I'm a whole different person than who I was when I first watched that commercial. I am Luke Mendoza, an IMG Academy alumni. I am so proud of this young boy. And also, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does at Stonehill. You know what? I'm going to keep in touch with him. And you coaches, you call me, baby, if he doesn't perform. Because the word from Nick is all he needs. But you know what? He's not going to need too many words. Because he's inherited all the things that make him a special person in everything that he does. I'm very proud of you, Luke. Good luck to you, my boy. Don't let this be our final song.